So I've been doing ceramics probably 20 to 25 years. Um, it was part of the BFA program to learn every aspect of it and I never touched clay before then but it just clicked. It was fun to be able to play in the dirt again, you know, and, and make a shape that came up so quickly, easily, not like building a house or anything like that. So, and it's faster than a painting. So that, that's probably why I gravitated toward it, although I still draw and paint. My parents um, would not let me go to the Chicago Arts Institute when I was in first grade. So their solution was that I shouldn't do any art at all. And so it was forbidden. But when I turned 40, I thought, darn it, if I want to take art, I will. So I went after the art. And that's where it all just kind of blossomed. I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth year. But I did hear about the Pit Fire Festival and the bowls. And I thought, oh, well, that'd be really cool to make a 1,000 bowls because I like challenges and I like to push myself to try new things and and when somebody tells me I can't do something I'm thinking no you can't do it but I probably can so I'll, I'll go for it and I'll try it and I want to find out for myself if I can or if I cannot. It starts in your head to make a bowl it has to start in your head you have to have an idea of what you're doing so thinking about it this was my design for the bowls. This by itself, if you stood perfectly still, you could stand on an egg without crushing it. So the design is good. I put a dent in it, and that was purely an accident. <laughs> and I thought, oh, but then I thought, you know what? I kind of like that. So I left it in there and everybody likes it too. So the bowl is shaped like this egg. And then I just elongated it so that it would be more, more of a container than, than not. So this form that I've come up with based off this egg it has been very utilitarian. Um, I thought at first of it as a soup bowl and I've kept one for myself, it, and it, it was the one that had a crack in the rim because who would want it? Well, everybody wants it, and that was the shock because they thought it will make a lovely flower pot. So um, when I've had pieces that failed, they're gone in a flash because everybody wants them, and that surprised me. Um, for food, I thought soup at first, but Usually it's on my table with Diet Coke in it. But yesterday it had sherbet in it. And it also had ramen soup in it, but it also had mac and cheese in it, and uh, a stew, and no matter what, it's there. And no matter what I put into it, and people who have gotten one of my, my seconds, they say they love the bowl. And it's on their table all the time. So it's just like a winner. No matter what glaze I put on it, people love it. So I'm just happy with it. And it's turned out to be just a, a wonderful learning experience and a great uh, lesson in time management.